All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Shalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Shalenza Show. So what I'm going to call this title is, I'm not blue collar, I'm not white collar, I'm not an artist. What am I? And, you know, I think a lot of us go through this. I guess if I would classify myself, and I don't like to, I even did a podcast, on this, I don't like to be kind of uh, known for anything, actually. Because I'm always trying to evolve into something else. It's just my thing. Uh, but I grew up, like say, around a lot of family members that were, one side was a lot of blue collar, the other side was white collar. I also have a lot of family members that truly were artists, designers um, in the fashion industry, and even hairstylists. My father was a hairstylist. He was a nightclub owner. Um, and you know, other family members in the garment industry in one way or another designing certain things. And... Um, also having family members that were involved with the film and television industry. And I also had family members that were doing a lot of different things illegally, let's just say too. And, you know, I kind of think I'm a, I'm a little bit of everybody, but I'm not one thing. I'm not even close to being one thing, I guess you could say. Um, being in the vending business too, I kind of looked at being, I guess, collecting money, moving equipment, maybe blue collar, but then on the other end, you know, I don't know. Then you're doing a lot of numbers and counting money and accounting. So that was kind of a little white collarish, but definitely not white collar in the sense where, like, some of my closest friends are lawyers or accountants or businessmen in general, real estate, residential, commercial, you know, that uh, type of industry. But I don't know how you kind of classify yourself. But if you are somebody that kind of finds yourself confused at times, what the hell you are, believe me, you're not alone. I. I really have no problem even hanging out with some of my closest friends right now. They're all realtors. A lot of my friends are realtors. Uh, or they're lawyers that deal with real estate. My ex-mother-in-law was actually commercial real estate. She was a monster. And I found myself again with you know a lot of white-collar people. And then a lot of my family members on my other side are a lot of painters in construction. And they're hardcore blue-collar. I definitely know I'm not that. Let's call that for what it is. But I had no problem with physical labor. Believe me when I tell you. I was in the vending business and I did do a lot of physical labor throughout my life, moving shit and doing things. So, uh, but then as time went on, I became a filmmaker and just doing different things and writing. And uh, if you listen to my previous podcast, I'm always into something creating wise, even if it's a clothing line or a program, whatever the case may be. Now YouTube podcast, but my God, I, I kind of look at life and just go like, what's the next phase for me? And I really was thinking of, I'd love to go to Naples for a while in Italy. When I went and visited there, I I never felt more at home. It was all the foods I love. The people kind of acted like me a little bit. Well, I'm still Americanized. There's still most people there. Obviously, they're from Naples. But I just the smell, everything about it, I'm like, yeah, this is where I'm from. I just, I sensed it. But I was in Hawaii, too, last year in Maui and Honolulu and uh I was ready, man, to just like uh, chill for six months or a year and tell everyone to kind of piss off, especially during COVID. If they would have let me go to Hawaii, I told my girlfriend, me and her, we had so many points from traveling so many years. We could have at least stayed there a month, but who knows? I mean, in hotels, maybe more, maybe more. I don't know. I had enough. I think I had enough uh, points to even fly there and stay there. I'd, I'd basically have to cook and I wouldn't cook, but we, we'd have to pay for food, which I'm still considering Actually, now that I'm talking about that, I may go to Hawaii for a while. So, anyways, um, I did that kind of in California. I moved to California for a while, my cousin. And that's where I wrote my first book. But I, I hung out in San Diego um, a lot. I'd go hang in the beach. I would just lay there. Or I would just hang out in La Jolla or go to Encinitas, Cardiff. We lived in Carlsbad. Uh, we'd, I'd go to Laguna. I spent a lot of time in L.A. too. Don't kid yourself. Um Santa Monica, in and out, I, I guess you could say. Uh, to all the different beaches, Malibu, whatever the case may be. I love Santa Barbara, man. I just dig those places. I don't, I'm not a surfer necessarily. I just love being near the water. I love fresh seafood. But um, now that I'm doing this YouTube and podcast, I if I went to Hawaii for a while, I've been thinking, wow, is that going to... How would I do what I do there for a while? But then again, I love experimenting. And... Maybe you are somebody who feels the same way. Maybe not as extreme and as crazy as I am. But sometimes, you know, I'm just telling you. 
you just having the freedom to become what you want to become. Life isn't about sometimes blue collar, white collar artists. And I'm using those three because that's kind of, you know, a lot of people fall into that category. Same with politics. You know, you may be one side or another or in the middle or independent, whatever. Same with religion. You know, all these things, they kind of box you in in life. And I'm kind of the person who wants to go against the grain all the time as far as that goes. You may be too. But maybe just creating whatever you want to become. You may be, you know, an artist in some way, or you may be blue collar, white collar, you may like working, whatever, but there may be something that you just want to develop into or become that's just you, right? Because if you look at things like even now, if you would have said 15 years ago when I was making films, that was really, unless you did film or TV, there was no other really outlet, then all of a sudden YouTube comes around, right? So I guess that's called, you know, say you're a YouTuber, or a, I don't know what the hell you'd call us, uh, content creator, uh, whatever the case may be, we have our own outlet, like our own little television show to kind of kick out. And I can do it any way I want, with whoever I want, whenever I want. And, you know, you, you can maybe, that's what I'm doing now, but you can maybe go do whatever the hell you want to do, man. Don't let shit restrict you. Don't let people make you feel like you can't be something like you can't be what you want to be I know it sounds so stupid have the freedom and have the confidence to at least experiment and try different things if you're always white collar and you wanted to become maybe blue collar start moving that way I tell people in small increments maybe you're sick of white collar sitting in a uh, what the hell they call those I don't even know what they're called that shows how far remote cubicle it shows how far removed I am from white collar. Say you're sick at a cubicle. You're maybe not making nearly as much money as you want. Maybe you would want to try something blue collar. Maybe you do want to go try something artistic like creating a clothing line. Or maybe you want to become a hairstylist. Or, or maybe none of those things. Maybe you just want to go do whatever the hell you want to do. I don't know. Writer. I mean, or just like I said, maybe go out and create something that nobody else has created. Just be a creator. An inventor. I don't give a shit. Go do something. Try it out, man. I'm all about experimenting. Understand that, you know, life is really what you're making it at that moment. And the life you lead really doesn't have to necessarily always be the way everyone else has lived it or is living it. But it's hard to see things that way when you're kind of stuck in it. And a religion's a lot like that. I'm not here to rip on religion, but if you were raised a certain religion and then you start learning about other religions, and I did that in high school. They made us every year learn about a different religion because I went to Catholic high school. So first was with my cousin who was a Jehovah Witness. So I learned about that religion and go, wow, this is very interesting. This is different than ours, right? Kind of the opposite, not the opposite. But, you know, when you're talking about like, hey, no holidays, no birthdays, no, what the hell, no Christmas, what the fuck's that? And then the next year I did a Mormon. My neighbor was a Mormon, so I had to study that found that quite interesting as well. I'm like, wow, this is totally, you know, on another level. Uh, are they wrong? Are they right? I don't know, but I learned. And that's kind of how I looked at life after that. I'm like, I'm not saying this is my own religion, but there are so many different dynamic things about life that I don't know about that maybe I should learn and I should experiment or at least study or figure out. So, you know, I just want to do a podcast on this very quickly because... You know, don't, sometimes we just get so caught up thinking about things or who we should be like your parents may be like, you need to be this. And I get if you want to do it for your parents, because a lot of things I've done or do are for my parents. But, you know, if, you, if you're if you doing things too for other people, make sure that's what you want to do. Because down the line, if you know deep down inside that's not what you want to continuously keep doing, I'm not saying it won't lead to happiness, but I'm not saying it may or may not is what I should say. And just please have the freedom to figure yourself out. Don't box yourself into being any, I guess, uh, like I don't even know what I'd call it right now. Sometimes I get lost for words in these podcasts. Don't get stuck pitching yourself, not even pitching, just doing things or becoming something you truly don't want to become. And if you are, Something you don't want to become, learn how to kind of have the confidence to kind of break out and experiment. I'm always talking about that. So 
I am going to wrap it up there, my friend. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. Sorry about that a little bit at the end. I got a little, I was just thinking too deep. I don't want to screw this up, but sometimes when I get these podcasts going, I'm thinking about what I want to do besides just telling others maybe what they should try doing. And it gets a little confusing. So um, I just want to take an honest approach and I don't edit these. But yeah, uh, thanks for listening. If you get a chance, check out my YouTube channel, Rich Chalenza. I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All right, take care and I wish you nothing but the best.